One of the common quadrilaterals is a trapezoid. And what defines a trapezoid? Well, the only thing that we know about a trapezoid is that we have one pair of parallel sides. If we had two pairs of parallel sides, it wouldn't be a trapezoid. We could be even more specific and say that it's a parallelogram. So again, a trapezoid just has one pair of parallel sides. There's a more specific example of a trapezoid, and that's an isosceles trapezoid, which means you not only have one pair of parallel sides, but these legs are also congruent. So the non-parallel legs are congruent, which creates two special things. The first is that the base angles are congruent. So you have two pairs of base angles. These two angles are congruent, and these two base angles are congruent. Another consequence is that the diagonals are congruent. So if I drew in my diagonals here, I would be able to say that they are both congruent to each other. Since these two angles are part of a transversal, we can say that they are same side interior angles. So consecutive base angles are always going to be supplementary. So these two angles are supplementary, and these two same side interior angles are also going to be supplementary. So a couple key things about the trapezoid when you have two legs that are congruent in a trapezoid.